Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gull Survives, broadcasting to anyone who can still hear him. We are going to be continuing with our lovely Let's Play of Surviving Mars. Quite looking forward to this. Uh, it's probably not going to be all that much of an exciting episode today, because uh, I need to do a little bit of back-end stuff that I, I haven't really done so much of previously. Uh, before we get into it, uh, let's have a look at some of the comments from yesterday's episode. Uh, Fran Vieira is uh, pleased that there's a new episode. Uh, it's nice. Uh, she, she comments on nearly every video. It's really nice. Uh, Captain Brody, he thinks I'm on the right track. He thinks I'm doing the right thing. Um, he agrees with me. Uh, I did say in the last episode that getting rare metals would be a big help. Uh, it's going to allow me to start exporting and start getting a bit more cash in so I can bring more resources in as and when I need to. Um, he suggested that perhaps a, a farming dome in the future might be a good idea uh, and indeed living quarters for seniors, uh, senior citizens might be a good idea because they're, they're not actually part of the workforce and therefore removing them from the flow of the workforce might be a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure if I need it quite yet, uh, I've had a look at my colonists, in fact uh, let, let's do it now. I uh, can't remember how I did this. Oh, here we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, we've only got three senior citizens at the moment, so I'm not overly concerned quite yet. But that's certainly something I'm going to look at in future episodes. Uh, Rudy64, he commented three times on the last episode, bless him. Uh, he thinks I should focus on the robotics tree so I can automate as much of my production as I possibly can, uh, which means reducing the amount of workforce required to efficiently run it. Not a bad idea at all, uh, and I certainly will be trying to focus as much as I can into robotics. Uh, totally automating things, and now I, I think that's only the breakthrough. And uh, we're, we're, of course, dependent on the whims of this game as to whether we get that kind of breakthrough or not. We shall see. Uh, he's also said that he'd like to know when the next Stargate Stellaris episode is. Uh, now, that's one of Bane's series, of course. Um, Bane is on his own channel now, uh, called Bane and Bros. Uh, what I'll do is I'll link it below in the description or in a comment. Uh, so make sure you click on that and subscribe to his channel. I don't know if he's doing a Starlight, uh, a Starlight, uh, a Stargate Stellaris series right now. However, he may well be convinced to do another one in the, in the future, so that's something uh, interesting to do. I'll probably do a Stellaris series, a solo one, at some point, but uh, I'm not sure when uh, is the answer to that. RS Gaming has also commented. Uh, it says he's loving the new, uh, this series. Uh, he's also asked a couple of questions about how to install Star Trek Armada 3. Uh, I've replied to him already on there. Um, I can make an install tutorial if you guys think it might be a nice idea for me to do so. If you want an install install tutorial, just comment on this video and uh, I'll, I'll get to work on that. It's, it's not too much of a hardship for me to do it because I've installed the damn thing so many times in various different iterations. Um, but there we are, that's what we'll do. Uh, now, we've had a look at the, uh, the stats of the last video. We've got about 13 likes on it and there's been about uh, 130 odd viewers. So that's, that's about 1 in 10. Uh, which is great. Thank you to everybody who's hit that like button. But I'd really appreciate it. anybody who is watching this consistently and is enjoying this series. Please do hit that like button. It makes it makes a massive, massive difference to the channel. Because, uh, as I'm sure you all know, uh, hitting the like button on any video uh, that is going to increase it in the YouTube search ratings. So more people are going to get to view it. Uh, the reason that I make these videos is for the comments and for the interaction with you guys. So the more people I've got commenting uh, on a video, the happier I am always. As you know, I try and talk with you guys. Um, and I try and talk through any interesting comments that I get all the time. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Hit that like button if you are enjoying the content. Um, and if you've got a ready-made audience that you think would enjoy it, make sure you share as well. Because uh, again, that goes a long way to helping. Right, what were we, what were we doing? Now, I've just had a look, um, right before I started this episode, at my uh, little RC drone rover. And he's got no drones on him anymore. I, I don't know what's happened to him. Uh, I did take a look at this uh, particular drone hub. And I noticed that we've got 12 of 100 potential drones here. The drone load is low. So what I might do is move this fine fellow over here. And there we go. Uh, we'll do that. He'll come over here, and then we'll move some of the drones from this particular area over to it. Uh, in addition to that, what we're likely going to be doing is we're going to be putting some more sensor towers, kind of uh, maybe up here, down here, over here, and over here, because that's going to speed our whole searchy-searchy up. And of course, uh, it may uh, find more, uh, more breakthrough technologies, more research blops, so it could be quite good. Uh, let's go into fast mode. 
overall, I'm pleased with this place so far. Uh, we've got a little bit of space in this dome. I don't know if we necessarily need to do anything more in here. What I will, however, do is I'm going to prep for more citizens, uh, which I think is a, a good idea. So let's put another set of apartments in there. And I think it might also be nice uh, were we to try and make it a little bit more interesting for people. So maybe an open-air gym. Which, you know, that, that can't be a bad thing, can it? And for now, I think that's all I want to put in there. We've got one slot left over. A science institute might be a fascinating building to uh, to build, or a Martian university in the future. Not sure if uh, not sure if that's going to happen in the short term, but there we are. Right, okay, drones. I'd like you to be assigned to him, you to be assigned to him, and you to be assigned to him. There we go. All right, we've got three drones on this now. So first things first, we're gonna let's just see what kind of power you've got. Sector scanned. You're okay for power, but we'll just uh, we'll bring you here. Get you charged up. Zip, 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 zip. There we go. And um, now we're going to bring you down here. A couple of reasons. Uh, it looks like we've got some potentially interesting deposits down here. Oh no, they're not. But nonetheless, we're going to bring him down here. We're going to build a sensor tower, and then we'll move him into various areas of the map, which hopefully will help. Hopefully. There we go. We can see we've got a lot of scanning to be doing over here. There he is. Now our sensor towers, of course, they are free. They do cost an electronic. Let's pop that there. And we're also going to pop a universal storage next to it. So hopefully what will now happen is our... Oh, here we go. He's going to collect an electronics. Reported. Oh no, a pipe leak. Let's see what our resources are looking like. Uh, once again, I'm not overly concerned about anything. However, it might be useful for us to get more stuff in the near future. Boop. I don't know why you're bringing so many electronics. Just, just one would have been enough. Okay, good stuff. All right, so that is now complete. Let's move up to this corner of the map. And the other thing that I'm going to do... See, now I'm wondering, if I demolish this Universal Depot, is one of my planes going to come and get these materials? Electronics are, are pretty rare. That's the question. Uh, perhaps we'll worry about that later. We've got a little research drone over here. Let's, uh, let's move him back. Now that the most Ooh. critical phase of the mission is behind us, we would argue it's a good time to start focusing on our mission evaluation goals. Okay. Um, effect, you've only got 46 souls to complete your evaluation objective. Only 46? Okay, so we're over halfway now. Uh, significantly over halfway. Uh, we have, we want to have 40 technologies researched by soul 100. Currently researched, we've only got 23. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sector scanned. Going a little bit slower than we want to. Right, let's prop, plop, prop, plop, 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 plop. Pop another sensor tower down. And we are, of course, going to need another universal depot here. So those guys are grabbing the metal that we need. I imagine we're going to see a... Oh, there you go, it's already going, look. I wish it would only bring specifically what we need, but there we are. Because it's bringing three electronics, which of course it doesn't need to bring, but there we are. Right, you get that built, excellent, well done. I might just allow these guys to grab all these metals and put them on the plate there. I might allow them to grab these as well. There's a load more over here as well, but we're not we're not gonna Sector worry about scanned. those. Oh, do you know what? I won't I won't do so. What's that got left? One, and there we go. Once that's done, we're gonna move this drone over here somewhere, build another one. 
hopefully our planes are going to have the presence of mind to do what must be done. I've got another sector scan, no resources. Sad girl is sad. And we're doing over here now. We're going to have plenty of vacant residential slots here. Let's just see. Passenger rocket wise, we've only got 10 of the uh, citizens with what we want. <laughs> Long story short. So perhaps if we could... Okay, so what concerns me? Uh, definitely still don't want chronic conditions. Hmm. What are tolerable here? There you go, a couple of loners and we get up to the 12 colonists that we could potentially do. Are we ready to launch that yet or do we want a resource delivery first? I'm thinking that an RC transport might just be a nice idea. Let's get one. This costs us a little bit. And we know that we want some electronics. Uh, machine parts are always good. Uh, and a couple of polymers. I don't think I need anything else, really. I always think that more drones, more explorers, or more RC rovers would be nice, but I don't think I need them. Everything else... Uh, see, I can build nearly all of this. Um, except for moisture evaporators, but uh, there's, no, there's no direct need for them. So, let's... Uh, Grab more electronics. There you go. It's still got a lot of cargo capacity left, but I think that's actually a nice launch for us, so let's launch it. I'm going to try and keep an eye on this RC rover over here, because if he, if he runs out of uh, power, then I'm in for a bad time. I'll have nothing that can come and get him. Now, we're in for a marginally shorter episode today, and for that, I do apologise. Uh, it's because I've got quite a busy day. <laughs> With Easter over, I'm now back at work as, uh, as of today. Uh, I'm recording this at about... Uh, I think I started recording this at about quarter to five in the morning to ensure that I could uh, get everything done that I wanted to. Right then. Build. And let's get that resource depot on the go. Boop. Boop. Oh, looks like we've got the items delivered that we need, or in the process of being delivered that we need. Yes, please, put that there. This guy will deliver the metal and the required. Good. There we go, got another sensor tower. Let's just quickly take a look at your power, shall we, before we make you do anything else. Still at about two thirds, not bad. Okay, so we'll go down here and make an, make one more. Gotta love these sensor towers. Not costing us anything. Sector scanned. Got a load of kids in here. I don't fully understand why children are in here. Is there a way that I can uh, give a preference to domes, guys? That's a question that you can answer me. Filter by traits? Okay, so here we go. Uh, I want children in this dome. Uh, as a preference, of course. By virtue of the fact that that's going to help us a great deal. If we have children in this dome... Then it's going to oopsie daisy. It's going to manage the work floors. Floors? Yes, of course. Uh, let's go to the next dome. I'm actually going to prefer seniors in this dome, and the reason that I'm going to prefer that is because I'd rather have marginally less of a workforce here. Now I think we can do traits as well. So let's go back to this dome. I go for traits. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like it's... Oh, look, here we go. Specialization, sex, perks, flaws, quirks. Um, yeah, not really bothered by any of this. I don't think there's any particular uh, trait that we want in here. It might be nice if we uh, stick everybody with a sexy perk in this dome. Because this is, of course, our baby-making dome. There we go. All right, let's close that off. Enthusiast, composed, and religious. Okay. And, of course, the reason that we want the kids... Oh, blimey, everyone's moving everywhere. So you are a child, aren't you? Yes, you are. Got some kids moving over uh, into here. That means, of course, we're going to get uh, our kids being taught things better. Oh, our rocket's here. Let's do what must be done. There we go. Okay. Sector scanned. Let's get another sensor tower down. Oops. Another universal depot here. And look at that, we've got an RC transport. Now, we saw an absolute uh, ton of metal somewhere, didn't we? So up here. There you go, you collect those. Set to scanned. Absolutely bloody nothing of use. Um, got a decent amount of sensor boostage up here. There you go. Oh, look at these guys just grabbing all the metal. They're like, Ooh, look at all this. There's all of this metal. Let's uh, get a metals depot here as well. Might be useful for future uh, endeavours. Move the drone fellow here as well. To get as many of these piles as we possibly can. Sector scanned. Let's keep an eye on him though. If he runs out of power, we're in for a bad time. Good, plenty of electronics. Uh, let's just take a look at how it thinks things are. Machine parts, meh, fine. Electronics is okay. Oh my, it looks like we've got a power shortage at certain parts of the day still. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's build another couple of wind turbines. One here, one here, that'll do. Oh my. <laughs> Anomaly found. Hey! <laughs> go on then, off you go. Wow. The amount of metal that we're actually getting from just these piles is lovely. Uh, we'll certainly be able to use that in the future. Uh, let's see what you're doing. You're grabbing all the metals that you possibly can. We've only got a maximum of 30. I think what I might like you to do while you're here is pick up resources or There we go. And you can come back over here. I think we've got a metals depot somewhere around here. That is a metals depot, is it? Sector scanned. So, uh, unload resources here. Resources are low. Low resource food. Uh oh. How long have you got? Alright, gonna be 51.3 potatoes very, very soon. Just uh, a couple of hours, in fact. Uh, how low are our food resources? Do we need another farm? Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, we've got 26 food. No, it's absolutely fine. Uh, Rover Command AI is done. Let's just see what that does. Uh, da, 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 here it is. The RC robot no longer needs recharging. Well, my, that's useful, isn't it? Very useful indeed. Uh, factory AI robotics. Uh, all performance is increased by increased by twenty percent. After extensive trials and allocation of many resources to the program, a WorkSafe AI has been developed to optimize various factory operations. That's potentially going to be very useful as we move forward. Emergency training, meh, uh, not too bothered. 
where did you go on that Martian Institute of Science? Let's go with Live from Mars because it's going to give us more applicants in the future. Let's just see how we're doing down here. You, of course, your power now lasts forever, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, one of these, one of these, one. Oh, okay. You're unloading all the resources. And charging. Oh, how, how convenient. Right, let's go back up here. Ask you to load up any resources there. All, please. Sector scanned. No resources again. Where was our... There you are. Let's bring you back. Get you charged up. Rocket's nearly ready to go. Nearly all the electronics are off it. Come on, just get the last couple. Milado. And then we can blast our rocket home and maybe think about getting some more citizens. One left. That drone's coming to get it. And... Bupkis. Let's go. Right, you've collected all the resources from there. Let's just get rid of that universal depot. And I'd also like you to load resources here. Oh. You're doing what you must still. 43 of a potential 180, and there's still an absolute Sector ton scanned. of metals down here. Hmm, I'm starting to feel uh, average high. Ooh, this might be a good spot. I mean, we might need to cover this. Ooh, we're not going to be able to get both at once now. That's not possible. So perhaps this is still the spot for rare metals. Oh, don't scan there. There's no point. Yet. At night, we should have a, a pretty lovely power surplus. God, we don't have much of one. Cable fault reported. Oh my. See, we could use polymers to up the production. Now, if we control click, it does it to all of our wind turbines. Uh, what does it cost? Two polymer. So, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Probably about 50 polymers. Do it. And that's going to put us in a lovely position from power. I think we've got plenty of polymers. Yeah, it'd be fine. We still have 50 polymers or so uh, left. Drones cable are droning. Fault reported. Sector scanned. Stop giving me cable faults. Sectors are scanning much faster now. now. Let's see, have you picked up the thing that you needed to pick up? Yeah, you have. Okay, great. May as well have you load up some metal while you're down here, uh, and then we'll bring you home. But metal's not going to be a problem at all for an age now. And our food produced. We're no longer in concern for food. Excellent stuff. Morale's okay here. Colonists want to get smashed but can't. That makes them sad. So we've still got children. Um, causing me difficulty here. Look, there's plenty of room over here. Get over there. Why you no behave? I didn't realize that Martianborn was a, a quirk. You wouldn't think it would be, would you? Anyway, close.
Sector scanned. Let's just ensure that our polymer is our polymers are okay. 63. Yay, we're okay. Right, are you nice and full now? Okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go unload resources here, all, uh, and then we'll have the drones work out what they want to do with it all. Still only at 86, so we'll, we'll let that keep doing what it's doing because it's vastly increasing our metal reserves, I imagine. Yeah, 219 now, which is great. And of course, should we need any of that metal, we've got this fine fellow over here, the shuttle hub. Right, do we think it's time to start prepping for getting over here? I do. So, we're going to need a tunnel. A tunnel, I think, in this instance, is practically the only way to get over there. With any great ease. Sector scanned. Yes, yes. I forgot where the tunnels live. Oh, there they are. Now, if we just kind of uh, pop the tunnel here, this is, puts us within easy range of a drone hub. And an exit to the tunnel. Right about here. Okay, I think that's the spot. Research is complete on the Sterling Generator. Lovely. Uh, what have you given me? Uh, physics factory amplification. Uh, less frequent maintenance for dust repulsion. Potentially very good. Uh, we'll take transport optimization. the sustainable architecture oh yeah that's very useful <laughs> I want to get this Martian University as soon as I can drones are still working hard I appreciate that sector scanned Anomaly found. Ooh. One does enjoy anomalies. Something interesting. Go. <laughs> right, there we go. So this episode, we, ha we haven't really done much aside from uh, trying to ensure that our scanning is as efficient as possible. Uh, we have had a delivery through, which is nice. Uh, and in addition to that, we are starting to create the conditions available for our dome to be built. Which I think is going to be really useful. Uh, what kind of quality are you? You're average, you're high. Yeah, so if we get the dome between these two deposits, so next to this underground rare metals deposit, I think that's going to be quite useful for us. And also it spreads the colony nicely again. Uh, as I say, don't think I need an old folks dome at the moment. Single child living by herself in there. Why are you there, child? There is room here. Good gravy. Uh, maybe if I say that I don't Sector want children scanned. here. Yeah. Age group. No children, please. Do we have anybody unemployed in here? We do. Oh dear, that's terrible. Uh, what can we do? Research hub. Always with. Always the with the. Oh. data validates our predictive models of the electrically charged dust devils. Science is well aware of the causes of the massive earth storms, monsoons, and tornadoes. Yet we never cease to admire the primeval forces unleashed before our eyes. The same goes for Martian electrostatic dust storms. Our scientists already had a good working model of, on the behaviour of these particular weather anomalies on the Red Planet. Now we can refine this model even further. With the current expedition complete, we can confirm their theory. Yet I doubt anyone would ever cease to revere these massive dust storms. Research cool. complete. Uh, let's just pause for a moment. 
because I wanted to build another research lab here, didn't I? So let's get that done. Uh, research lab. I've got unemployed people. May as well put them to use. And with that, we can, of course, have uh, another little, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe a garden here. It does bring room for two further items. So what kind of items can we have? I don't want to do any shops. I'm, I'm concerned about doing shops. We've already got an infirmary. I, I'm not worried about that. I don't have room for a space bar. Playground is useful. Is useless. This isn't our baby making dome. More stuff to relax, I suppose. We could do a security station, but meh. Yeah. Let's have a nice stone garden here then. Try and make it nice and comfortable. We could always delete. Oh. You're a visiting diner. Celebrity, party animal, Martian born, and religious. Interesting. <laughs> Take a lake as well. Because that way at least people can get there relaxing on. Uh, biome engineering research is complete. Which is, I believe, what was biome engineering? Come on, guys. Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking you directly. Farms increase the comfort of all residences in the dome. That's going to be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martian-born adaptability. Martian-born colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums and have higher chance to gain perks from schools. Yeah. Alright. I don't want you to be pinned. That's useless. Alright, continue on with for a moment. If you nearly got all the bits you need. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Have you nearly finished filling that up? Oh, I've only got ten left there. We'll, we'll let it, we'll let that happen. Are we gonna need more concrete or no? No, <laughs> no, we're not. That's that answered. Everyone's pretty happy. Sector scanned. Food wise, we're, I think, doing fine. Yeah, for the time being. May need more food later. Uh, whereabouts is our transport hiding? It's over here. It's done its part. I'm just going to ask that to load all the resources over there while we're here. Nearly all the concrete is... <gasps> Look what I haven't done. I hate this mess. Can our drones not get over to this? Have you just been working too hard or something? Oh no, look, they're full. Blimey. Right, let's get some more dumping sites. This particular piece of music, it reminds me of Jagged Alliance 2. This is like the um, the main menu music from Jagged Alliance 2. It's a long, long time ago that that game came out, but uh, uh, you'll, you'll just have to trust me, folks. Sector scanned. All right, good stuff. Anybody unemployed in here? Research oh. complete. Well, we'll have a second work shift then. I imagine the comfort in this dome is pretty okay now. Morale's fine. Nobody could satisfy getting pissed. That's that's also fine. I'm not bothered about that. Good, so anybody employed unemployed in here? There's a homeless person. Well, we'll go over to this dome, you fool of a toque. Thank you. <laughs> And magnetic filtering is also complete. Excellent stuff. Dome bioscaping. Residences in basic domes have improved comfort. Hmm. Well, that sounds potentially useful as well, doesn't it? Uh, I think I'm going to take Logi Fungi, uh, just in case I do run into any food problems. 
All right, good stuff. I think that better be the end of this episode uh, by virtue of the fact that I'd like to render it and uh, get it ready for upload before I leave for work this morning. It is quarter past five, so uh, I think if I render it, it'll probably take about 30 to 40 minutes. Fingers crossed, and then I'll be able to pop it out before I leave work at Sector 20 past down. 6. Fantastic. Leave for work at 20 past 6. Fan oh, good lord, that was a close one. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this. Make sure you throw me some comments. Um, and I'll certainly read them out in the next episode, particularly if they're interesting. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next episode. But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life. Now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Mm -hmm.